For the last three years, I've been working for my university as a photographer. There are some new rules and regulations that have been implemented and indeed new photographers and videographers have joined the team. I'm glad for attending this training session today. As a means of ensuring an enjoyable time during training, the student union has offered us free hot drinks from the union's cafe. Picked up my free hot drink from the union, now just heading back. For anyone wondering what I've got here, it's an oat milk hot chocolate. In case you know anyone wants to buy me free drinks sometimes. <laughs> 233 pounds for work. Um, so I just bought my iPad Pro 11. Um, so I decided that I was not going to wait for the price to change. Um, I got a little bit impatient and yeah, I just decided to buy it. I've been fantasizing about this iPad for the past two weeks and I thought I'd just give it to myself. Um, I'm really excited about its arrival. And yeah, I'm just going to meet my best friend now who should be somewhere here at the station. There he is. I can see him right there. He's right there. <laughs> waiting for the caffeine to kick in. I've been waiting for the emails from Apple all morning. So here we are. I don't know if you guys can see it. So the emails are from Apple Store. They both basically say the same thing. Pick up information for order W6 blah 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 Your items are ready for pick up! Yay! I placed my order for the Apple iPad Pro 11 last week and I've literally been counting the days for its arrival. I was on placement this morning from 8am and it's now half one. I clocked one patient who had come in with unstable angina. Do you guys know what that is? Angina is a type of chest discomfort that you get when there's poor oxygen supply to the heart muscle. Unstable angina should be regarded as a medical emergency because it suggests that the function of your heart is compromised, increasing your risk of having a heart attack. This is actually a very big topic in the medical school curriculum, so if you haven't learned how to manage unstable angina and exactly what it is, how you diagnose it, then go away and learn that. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited for my iPad. Drums. The reason I'm so excited about the iPad is I went into the Apple store last week. The iPad Pro is a very suitable device for me to continue practicing my hobbies. It's very good for making illustrations. It's kind of good for taking pictures if I wanted to do that. Um, also, in my final year, it would be very good for me to review my notes on them. 
In fact, over the last couple of days, my parents have been scanning all my handwritten notes from third year and fourth year, putting them together in a file so I can review them on my iPad and highlight them and write additional notes on top of them if I wanted to. Hopefully this will make my revision this year a little more efficient. A lot of my seniors, you know who you are, have advised me to practice questions on this website called pastmedicine.com and this website has a lot of questions that are very exam oriented and hopefully practicing those would prepare me for the final exams that I have in March. Accessibility to my notes as well as practice questions online and the freedom to annotate these will allow me to fill the small breaks throughout my day with productivity and I'm really looking forward to that. I've packed my bag for London, let's go pick up this iPad. Oh my god, holy <laughs> you guys, I just discovered split screen on my Mac, sorry not my Mac, my iPad Pro, oh my god, that means I can read PassMed, this one's focus, there we go, which means I could read PassMed and then write notes right next to it, isn't that just so cool, oh I'm so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. At my placement today, I intend to take a few histories from patients, find out what brought them to hospital today, explore their medical history, that type of thing. What's different today is I'll be making the notes on my new iPad and I'm interested to see how this will pan out.
Hey guys, I'm done with placement for the day. I went home to do some work, however, there's no internet in my flat, so I've come back to the hospital's cost in order to get some work done. I spoke to my consultant earlier and she wants me to present some cases to her tomorrow morning. So I've been writing up my cases on my new Apple iPad Pro. So I'm going to show you that and I've also been doing some photo editing for an event I covered on Saturday. So I'll show you a snippet of This is my case summary to present tomorrow. And then this is a setup. Happiness is contained in this cup. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm a little bit disappointed. Someone once told me that the baby chili is basically a small hot chocolate. However, this is just me, the soya. Shout out to whoever other likes me. You are responsible for my upset today. Sad face. I'm so sad face. 7.45 this morning. So I went in at 8am this morning. It was pretty uneventful with regards to the patients that we were seeing. There were a couple of conversations over coffee that made me reflect on mm. communication in the healthcare setting. So fortunately in the UK, the healthcare system tends to have a lot of diversity within the team of doctors. However, with that comes different styles of communication. So for example, British people beat about the bush a bit when they want something or they think something isn't right, whereas someone from a different continent might just say something really directly. Therefore, if, say, a British person said something like, I don't think this patient is doing really that great, then someone from a different continent might interpret that to mean, oh, this patient isn't doing that great, but they're doing fine, which can cause some misunderstandings because that patient could be deteriorating with great rapidity. It was nice to sort of have that as a reminder, um, which means that when it comes to communication, when I'm a doctor, I'll try to be a lot more direct. Mm -hmm. 